So thanks, guys. Um, we appreciate that you. Uh, it's the end of a long day. We have. Uh, we're not going to do a two-hour. Uh, we sponsor the cocktail reception, so we get bonus boats points right from the beginning. We understand we're between you, as I said before, and the beer. We have um, some slides we're going to show you, but really we're going to show you two demos here, and one demo when we're in the cocktail reception that Sergey's going to walk around with his uh, Samsung S3 and show you how he backs up data and restores data from it in case you wanted to see it. So um, uh, in the room today, uh, I went around, shook everybody's hand, but together um, with me today is uh, Sergey and Tracy, who's in the back. And we have flown in today from Toronto. Uh, it's colder there than it is here, much colder. So this is nice for us. Um, Asigra, Asigra is known to some of you um, for a number of years already, and others it might not be as known. Asigra is a 26-year-old company. It's founded in Toronto. It's uh, just over 100 people. Um, a very engineering-driven company. It's a privately held company. It sells its solution. It's software only. It sells it through the channel 100%. So we don't sell anything direct. Our customers are service providers, cloud service providers. We sell our product to them, and they use it to deliver a cloud backup service to their customers. Sometimes their customers are mid-market and enterprise accounts who don't want to buy a cloud backup service. They prefer to be their own internal private cloud. Um, so that's a little bit about Asigra. It's recognized in the industry, won a couple of different awards and so on. Um, it's a very good, uh, what we call a hybrid partner program. It's specially designed for cloud backup service providers. It's uh, very unique. Asigra actually puts on its own um, partner conference. It's the only partner conference of its kind uh, in the world devoted specifically and only to cloud backup and delivering cloud backup as a service. It's held every year in Toronto. We do it uh, either June or July, uh, depending on the dates. And we have hundreds of service providers from all over the world that come to Toronto. And uh, we have speakers and so on um, to learn not only about technologies, but also about how to deliver it, how to position it, how to message it, how to embed it as um, um, a supporting service to other services that service providers might be offering as well. Again, Asigra is very engineering driven, so uh, we've done a lot of innovations over the 26 years we've been in business. There's been a lot of firsts that we have brought uh, into the market. Asigra is, was the first agent, <coughs> excuse me, agentless backup product in the market. So you don't need to install an agent like you do traditionally on every backup uh, source or target that you want to back up. Asigra created uh, a, a different technology. Again, one designed specifically for service providers. Um, and the rationale was the less touching, the less invasive you need to be at the end customer site as a service provider, simply economics, the more profitable you're going to be, the less troubleshooting, upgrading, you know, diagnosis, and so on and so on you, you need to do. So we designed and developed and engineered an agentless backup approach. It's still the approach that we take today, and it has evolved over uh, the years that we've been in business. Other things that we've you know, brought to market first, we had deduplication way in our backup product way back in 1993. By the way, this is the only thing that Asigra develops. It, it, it only develops a, uh, a backup platform. It doesn't do replication and storage management and many other things as well as backup. It's purely dedicated to, um, to cloud backup. So uh, CDP in an agentless way and, and deduplication, I said, and um, we were the first cloud backup application to have a FIPS 140-2 certificate. So our platform is secure, not because we say it, but because we had to give some source code over to the US government for those of you that have had your products um, uh, you know, go through that whole thing. It takes almost two years, costs a couple of hundred thousand dollars, and you have to you know, tell them a lot about your technology, and then they vet it. They, they basically want to make sure that the encryption that you've implemented in your product can't be defeated, and that's what they're trying to test. So um, yeah, and just recently, uh, yesterday, we announced uh, version 12 of our product, and uh, it also does some cool new things, which we'll show you today. The company vision, just so you get a, a better sense of the company, um, it's really focused, again, on end-to-end -end enterprise uh, backup and recovery platform. Basically, there's a lot of data. I don't want to belabor this point too much, but it's now not only in the core in the data center, it's sitting in branch offices, it's sitting on endpoint devices. But it's also sitting in the cloud today. So there are many enterprises that are running uh, SaaS-based applications. We're going to show you backup recovery today of Salesforce.com as an example, and also of a, a platform as a service of IBM Smart Cloud. For those of you that may or may not know IBM Smart Cloud, we'll talk to you a little bit about it. 
So our vision for cloud backup is backup ultimately, it's not today here, but it's slowly, our vision is, is for backup to become an attribute of the computing experience. Think of it like, like BIOS. Nobody really today so much tinkers with their BIOS. They boot, uh, at least their laptop. Nobody really hits uh, Shift F7 or whatever it is to start tink tinkering with it. Our vision is, is that backup really should become an attribute of computing. It should be in the background. Um, uh, you shouldn't really have to spend so much, still today, so much energy, effort, time. Um, it should not be an application that's explicit with explicit hardware dedicated to it. Um, it should be more, again, becoming an attribute. So the first step of it becoming an attribute is it becomes a service. It's not something you end up doing internally anymore or as much or even specific environments for specific data types. It becomes an attribute. The next step is it becomes embedded into applications and into operating systems uh, and into platforms themselves. So, I mean, your own views of the market, you can see that it's happening as well. Seagrass built a lot of APIs into its product set. We actually have some uh, customers that we call them service providers, but they're really software companies and they've actually embedded the software inside. So think save, save as, save to their cloud and that kind of thing. So um, again, we just launched uh, version 12 yesterday. Um, you know, it, it, it really is end to end. There's um, some interesting things about it. It's got some virtual disaster recovery. Uh, there's other uh, products out there that are charging for it inside a secret. There's snapshotting capability inside of it. These are all free features inside our platform. These are not additional costs. So for enterprises that are looking for not just a single way how to protect their data, but like file-based uh, backups, but also image-based backups, snapshot-based backups, um, backups of data that's sitting in clouds. Um, this is what version 12 is bringing to the table. Again, we see these as features of the product so that there are no cost uh, functionality that's, that's being made available to our existing customer base that has bought maintenance and is upgrading. Um, it's uh, hardware agnostic, which means you can run a Seagra software and use any kind of storage that you want underneath it as the repository, direct attach, SAN, or NAS. Um, yeah, let me keep going. So today, or this evening, really, we're going to demo uh, two things in this room, one thing in the cocktail reception. First thing we'll do is we'll demo IBM Smart Cloud. IBM Smart Cloud, for those who don't know, it's a platform as a service. A Seagrass technology can run inside Smart Cloud. You can also run, and then so you can back up to IBM Smart Cloud if you want. You can also run a Seagrass software in your own cloud if you're an enterprise, and you can back up data if you have data in IBM Smart Cloud to yourself. You can also back up data from one corner of IBM's smart cloud to another corner of IBM's smart cloud. So today we're going to show you, or tonight we're going to show you a demo of uh, backing up data from Japan to Canada, where we've created a collector in Japan and uh, the repository sitting in the IBM smart cloud in Canada, because IBM has different data centers. I don't want to speak for IBM, but they're very much interested in targeting the ISV community. They're looking uh, for application owners to, to have applications that are kind of born in the cloud, and that's where they're targeting it. Slightly different than Amazon um, and, and Rackspace, and you know, there's, there's many other offerings similar to it. But, um, and so we're currently the only backup product that's in IBM Smart Cloud. You can actually go into the catalog and we'll show it to you. And the only backup application that's inside uh, is a Seagrid today. So without further ado, Sergey, yeah. I'll turn it over to you, and you can um, Let's switch show it. the guys about uh, how to create a. Um, yeah, enough PowerPoint. Let's see software. Quick question: for yeah. switching that. It's I think not it's a different. It's a different picture, yeah. but do you guys do any integration with the other uh, cloud providers, AWS, Rackspace? We do. We do. We do. We do. We have. Uh, we can send data into. Um, you know, they use a SOAP uh, API and a RESTful API. We also do uh, Mesio, if you're familiar with Mesio. Right, right. And uh, we also do uh, Atmos from the EMC. Okay. So. As, as a target. As a target, yeah, as like yep. where you'd have a repository. Yeah. But Smart Cloud is platform as a service, not infrastructure as a service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's more hooks for grabbing the data because it's better to get the data and well, it's just example can be implemented on any uh, cloud. So we have it uh, with IBM Smart Cloud. You can implement it on any other platform as well. So 